A taking action health alert tonight. A sentinel chicken test positive for eastern equine encephalitis, forcing county officials to step up their monitoring and issue a warning. We're taking action to keep your family safe with how you can protect yourself and your property. Jean and Iris Steinberg enjoy an afternoon stroll through Sawgrass Lake Park in Pinellas County, unaware of a new threat, triple E or eastern equine encephalitis. Encephalitis is, can be a very dangerous disease. Um, some of the symptoms, for example, would be headaches or um, weakness. Um, later, it progresses and it could actually, um, it's in one third of the cases, it's even deadly. The virus is transmitted by mosquitoes. I was alarmed by that idea. We don't expect to see mosquitoes this time of year here. We were on traps every day. The folks at Mosquito Patrol monitor the mosquito population daily and say they are out there thanks to recent rains. And they know exactly where because of mosquito traps and 56 sentinel chickens in eight locations across the county. The chicken that tested positive lives at Sawgrass Lake Park. We uh, monitor the surrounding neighborhoods around the chicken coop and do what we can to reduce the mosquito populations. That includes treating the standing water with chemicals to kill mosquito and mosquito larvae. We need the homeowners to help us. We're, we're taking care of the, the big land, but individual homes, there's not enough of us, so we need them. We need their help at entering their containers and doing what they can to get rid of the standing water. The county will even bring you some of these gambesi or mosquito eating fish for ponds or abandoned neighborhood pools if you make a request. Just exercise good good um, mosquito prevention habits. For example, mosquitoes feed at dawn and dusk, so try not to be out during those times of the day if possible. Triple E is rare but also deadly. It takes four to ten days after the bite to develop symptoms. The early signs are fever, headache, and poor appetite a stiff back or neck. More severe symptoms, difficulty walking, confusion, sensitivity to light, vomiting, seizures, or loss of consciousness. If you have more questions, I'll link you to the CDC's information page on Tripoli. Head over to my Facebook page, look for Linda Hurtado, WFTS under Pages, and like the page.